Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here. Today's video is again all about AI and machine learning. For those of you who have followed my previous video where I was talking about ChatGPT and how you can make use of it while working in the software testing industry, um, today I would like to talk about an AI, AI report that my friends from pCloudy conducted and were talking to several AI experts in the field. And I think it's really an interesting report that they um, compiled together and it's helpful for us in the software testing industry and not only in the software testing industry because I think it's also helpful for everybody working in IT, software development, project management or product management. And I bet you have heard about AI ChatGPT in the remaining days, right? I mean, it's crazy. It's everywhere. All big companies, big brands coming out saying, hey, we have AI capabilities in our products. Um, for those of you who were following latest news, Microsoft uh, introduced a ChatGPT in their new in their search engine called Bing, and um, Google is also working on on a solution to to add these AI capabilities into search. And these are like just the big players working on these technologies, and they're like also smaller brands bringing AI to our industry. And as I mentioned, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I just opened the local newspaper here where I live and even there, that's non-technical paper, there was ChatGPT and was explained like, what is this all about? And this shows me that like this, this can be like the next big thing in our industry. And that's why I, I found out that pCloudy did the report and, and send it out to, uh, to people who are interested in. And even they asked me up front if, if I would like to contribute to that report. And I, I gave some statements where I see AI um, uh, in, the, in the future and where I have used it in the past, for, so for example. So let's take a quick look what this report is all about. Make sure to check the video description where you will find the link to download your, uh, the AI report uh, created by pCloudy. So let's take a look. So here it says, um, AI driven testing trends for 2023. Everything AI, taking leaps into testing with AI. Um, just one thing to mention before we go um, to the next slides. And this is just an excerpt of the, of the complete report. Yeah, I just give you like a sneak peek of what you can expect from it. And as I mentioned just before, go and uh, download the report from the link that I make uh, in the, or add, add to the video description. So let's take a look what is all about, what is the on the next slide. So that's the content. And the content says we have an introduction, note from the editor. We have an executive summary. We have an expert panel where I also had a chance to contribute to and some other experts as well. We have like an evolution of the arti artificial intelligence. So where was it coming from and when at which state are we now? And we're setting some context. So what are the experts saying in this report about AI? Where do they see those uh, things in the near future? And then the report is covering uh, four trends that they see currently in industry. And uh, the first one is generative AI will replace redundant development and testing tasks. Yes, this is also something that I said uh, mentioned already in my video when I was talking about ChatGPT and when I was also uh, showing you hands-on what the um, the tool is offering basically. So it, it's it, it's capable of, yeah, generating testing ideas, helping out in in, in coding like with the basic fund fundamentals of of a class of a skeleton of a pattern maybe. So this is stuff that you can use for, and I think it's best in order to improve our daily life as yeah, IT guys and girls, basically. Yeah. So the trend number two that the report is covering is AI augmented test automation. So it says it will improve test um, efficiency and also reduce the delivery cycles. Tr uh, trend number three, AI infused, Dev uh, infused DevOps will ease collaboration and auto trigger functions faster. AI will drive visual testing capabilities to welcome computer vision. That's the trend number four. And now like the, the follow-up uh, sections on the report says, okay, well, how are businesses using AI at this moment uh, right now? What are the key takeaways and some additional references I can only recommend to also follow up on because uh, there's also like things for you that might be of interest to, to read through. So let's take a look, what do we have? Um, so this is basically like the, the revolving around AI, a thorough industry research on interviews from our experts, 
is part of this report. And uh, what I would really, what I really found interesting was that quote here. It says that by 2026, 70 percent, 75 percent, sorry, of large enterprises will rely on AI-infused processes to enhance asset as efficiency, streamline supply chains, and improve product quality across diverse and distributed environments. Yeah, that's a lot actually, but 75% uh, is a huge number, right? So by in only three years, we see in more and more sections of our industry. And also in our daily lives, we see more and more AI capabilities coming up. And here on the, on the right hand side, you can see like which technologies are most likely to be implement, implemented by 2025. There's a bug, there's an L missing. <laughs> uh, so what else do we have? So we see that 96% uh, will see AI and machine learning implemented in, two, in just two years. Uh, secure access service edge. We have distributed cloud, ML ops, and so forth and so forth. You can browse through the section here as well. So as you can see, AI and machine learning is on top of the list on things that will come in the next two years. So what else? Um, uh, this is what the trends I just mentioned before. Yeah, that the trends that are covered in this report. I don't want to repeat myself now. Um, so how does it work? Is yeah, generative AI uses in generative uh, adver adversarial networks or GAN um, to generate new synthetic instances and data that can pass real data. So that sounds good. And this is basically what we have seen in ChatGPT3, uh, GPT3 or LLM or various other AI models that are used to create snippets of program code or that can be used to, to work in larger code bases or are able to like actually work with a big amount of data that we see on, yeah, on, on platforms. So data generated AI is, is here to stay and it will also help us in yeah, maybe also creating new product ideas that will help us in yeah, making our lives easier, right? So let's see, I'm really curious well, what's going to happen. Uh, here we can see like um, the evolution of testing, for example. So on the on the on the on the left side on this diagram, we had in the in the in the eighties and nineties we had waterfall. Then we had some experiments on early test automation. Then there was like this big hype of a of agile testing. Then DevOps now value streams, and there now we have like AI augmented testing coming into place. So this is like the future ahead. And it's also something that I sent, uh, said in my video before is that I think that AI will be a great addition to our tool chain. Yeah. I heard from many of you already also in feedbacks and comments and direct messages like, Hey, do you see that AI is taking over my position as a software tester? I would clearly say no. Yeah. It will be addition to your testing tool chain because it can help you to, to get rid of the tedious work that you have to do uh, in your daily life. Maybe test data generation, maybe, Test, uh, test case creation, uh, maybe a, 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 like Copilot is doing for, for example, right now in IDEs already like code completion, suggesting you like, hey, this, this might be a bug that you're introducing in your automation or this you're not following the pattern or you're not using it, uh, the, the, the object in a correct way. So it will, it will learn about the system that you're working in and will guide you and will make you like a better um, technical person, like in, in terms of writing test automation code or in, in terms of testing. I could also think of like a tool, for example, that you do use for uh, in your exploratory, in, ex, in your, ex <laughs> I cannot talk today, in your exploratory testing sessions. So it, it will help you in your session saying, hey, you missed the login view, you missed the registration, or have you thought about this input and starting? So, so like, like a little, like little um, bot that is suggesting you things that you can do while working in testing. And this is not, this is not like, this is just a glimpse of an idea that I have. And it, I think it's much bigger and better. Yeah, and here it's written down like, what are put, put position, uh, possible um, capabilities of test automation and how it evolved over time. Um, we also have like these uh, three three quotes here. So there were like quotes from the experts. Even my my example is here. Uh, you can also there are even more more quotes in this uh, in this report. I will not repeat everything now. What I said is like I suggest like the the testing like ChatGPT or other AI technologies, especially also for for younger people coming into uh, into software testing, helps the, telling them hey use it to to generate ideas but also take the ideas with a grain of salt because we have seen uh, in my video and also the video from, from Joe um, Colantonio 
that ChatGPT wasn't always right, right? So this is also something, this is like the, the downside of the new trend at the moment that people take it for granted what is coming out of the um, at official, uh, artificial intelligence system. So this is something that you always have to keep in mind that it might not be the, the truth, yeah? Or even not the, the, the best solution, right? I mean, I've also seen code examples written by ChatGPT, they were just wrong and were following wrong patterns. And because, it, we are in an early stage right now, but uh, and looking at the ChatGPT uh, Chat 3 now um, is uh, T is that it's using only data from two years back. But now imagine like we have data like that goes like 10, 15 years back in time, much more input, much more input data where the machine can learn from. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, there are some quotes on how AI will shape the testing, uh, the future of testing. And there's also a quote from, from Jonas, from Enrique, from Geoffrey, and from Kevin. Um, um, that's why I will not read them all out in this video. It's just too boring. But um, this is also the, the, the end of what I would like to show you from, from, the, from the AI report. So you see there's a lot of things covered in here. And also I just uh, I tell, told you like, hey, there are like four trends. That's why I would, I don't want to sneak like all the, and spoil all the content of the, um, of the report. But um, I think it's, it's a really great report. It's I think 30 pages long, even with the resources for you to follow up. So make sure to check the video description to get the full report. And I would love to see some comments in, in under this video. Like, what do you think about uh, this whole AI machine learning trend? Um, are you afraid of it? Or are you looking into a bright future and using these kind of tools to do even a, a better job? So I'm looking forward to it. Leave me a message on that side. Leave a thumbs up, uh, leave a subscription as always. Happy to, to help you out on this field and looking forward to all the AI stuff coming up uh, to our craft. Thank you and bye-bye.